All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. Coming to you from the Freedom Studios. Got a new little microphone set up. Trying to see if I can make my voice sound more sexier, studio-like. So anyway, you guys let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, don't forget, if you got any suggestions for videos that you want to hear my opinions on, please don't hesitate in emailing them to codaboy32 at gmail.com. Don't forget also to check out our website, kb32tech.com. Probably uh, not a whole lot of stuff that I, is over there. Uh, I'd like to put some more stuff over there, but uh, time is of the essence. But in any case, I want to read an email that I received from one of the viewers over there. His name is Blank Zero. All right, Blank Zero. He writes, good afternoon. I've been a viewer of your YouTube channel for some time now. Love what you're doing. Keep up the great work. Thanks, brother. Uh, link below are two pro-gun laws for Ohio. Oh, yeah. So let's get started on this one. The first one we're going to talk about is House Bill 62. Uh, from the Ohio Legislator, uh, sponsored by Mike Loichik and Diane Grindle. I love it when women go two-way on us. Okay, so let's talk about this thing. Basically, uh, this guy right here is about, hold on one second, yeah, she is eight pages long. I'm going to put the link down below so you guys can read it yourself, but essentially what it is is the revised codes to designate the state of Ohio as a Second Amendment sanctuary state. And to name this act the Ohio Second Amendment Safe Haven Act. So if you've got a legislator in Ohio area that belongs to you, you may want to reach out to them and uh, let them know this is pretty important. Safe Haven Acts, uh, Sanctuary Cities, Ohio, uh, West Virginia, a lot of states are coming out, just like the, uh, the guys that did it are pro-marijuana. Well, even though marijuana is illegal federally, you've got a lot of states that are making it legal all over the place. So when the ATF, who basically provides oversight for uh, you know firearm laws, things of that nature, uh, when the states go, what does that mean? Well, it means that the states are not going to be providing any local support to the ATF and in their raids and concerted efforts to uh, provide oversight and restrictions for you to defend your family uh, in accordance with the Second Amendment. It's pretty sick. Now, he's also talking about House Bill 2227. Now, this one's a little bit longer. As a matter of fact, the actual bill in itself is 143 pages long. I'm not going to bore you with all that because, well, we're here just to hear some really cool news for a five-minute segment because I don't want to take a whole hell of a lot out of your day, but this is a really cool one, and I'm going to read the uh, short or the long title because it says it all. Uh, code, all right, so it says, uh, to enact the revised code to rename a concealed handgun license as a concealed weapons license, also to allow a concealed weapons licensee to carry concealed all deadly weapons not otherwise prohibited by law to expand the state preemption of firearms regulation to include all deadly weapons to repeal a notice requirement for licensees stopped for law enforcement purposes to authorize expungement of related convictions and to allow a person age 21 or older to carry a concealed deadly weapon without a license. So basically, constitutional carry. Here's the whole thing. Whether you like it or not, when you've bought a firearm from a store, unless otherwise you bought it from a Walmart parking lot uh, where you're not able to, well, in the state of North Carolina, I don't have to have any uh, information from the buyer. I can sell to whoever the hell I want. Is that responsible? I don't think so, but at least that's the way it is. In the state of Pennsylvania, I know if it's a handgun rifle, correct me if I'm wrong, you pretty much have to go and do a transfer. Uh, so anyway, uh, concealed carry. Uh, dangerous weapons, deadly weapons. What they're talking about is constitutional carry in that you've already gone through when you had to purchase from a firearm store to 4473. As far as I'm concerned, if you're a citizen of these United States and you can, for the purposes of this discussion, possess a firearm, you should be able to carry it, period. And this whole bullshit, we're we'll getting into the whole thing later on this afternoon in another video with uh, Mayor uh, de Blasio. Here's the whole thing. The Democrats, the way they think about it is if you carry a firearm, you're a potential criminal. If you carry a firearm, our, our public is unsafe. Why is it that these people think that if somebody has a firearm, th well, the, uh, the ability to or the situation is that somebody's going to die? 
That's their whole deal. They've been brought up in this entire world thinking that if somebody has a gun, it's a dangerous thing and they must be stopped or they, they've got to be taken out or whatever. But it's disgusting to me that these individuals who, one, are protected by a group of people with firearms are the first people that will sit out there and tell you that you don't need a firearm. And, oh, my God, my heart just sank as I was sitting there and I, I was having a bullet of dicks being hit me in the face and stuff like that and also these guns and everything else. I don't want to go any further. I'm trying to be serious here. But this is the stuff we're dealing with. And thanks goodness that we have people like those individuals, Thomas Brinkman, as well as my, Chris Jordan in Ohio, who are introducing these things. Constitutional carry will not make things more deadly or more dangerous in your community. But it will give a criminal a little bit to think about whether or not he's going to rob somebody because that individual may just have a gun. So anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down below. <laughs> and I tell you what. Thanks, Blank Zero, for sending this in. I apologize it took so long to get out there. There's so much that we got to do, but I'm really excited about the newsroom here, the studio. So we're going to do a bunch more. Bill de Blasio, you're next. And we got some other videos we're going to be doing and some other emails, which are a lot of fun. With, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not freedom. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who are going to protect us with constitutional carry versus what the BS that Joe Biden is trying to push. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm KB32, and I am out of here. Y'all be good. Bam!